Happy holidays everyone and welcome to my special Christmas sneak peek episode. Thanks for tuning in to episode 10, which is my final episode for this year and because it's the holiday season, I have something fun planned for you today. I'm going to give you a little look into what we're working on right now in City Engine and I know that a lot of you will be pretty excited by this. And because this is a special Christmas episode, I want to reflect a little bit on the year that's passed. And instead of the awesome award, this week I'd like to show you my top three City Engine 2017 highlights. Let me know in the comments what your personal City Engine highlights of the year were. Whether it be some of your favorite features in City Engine, or maybe you created some really awesome City Engine scenes that you'd like to share with me. And before I forget, thank you to Dominic for sending me this FC St. Gallen t-shirt to wear in an episode. And for those of you joining me from outside of Switzerland, this is a Swiss soccer team that's playing in the top league. As you might know, we're collaborating with the guys from Epic Games who build the awesome Unreal Engine. And in City Engine 2017.1, we released a direct exporter to Unreal, which was already really well received by you guys, even though we're still in the beta stage. So, we want to push further on this front. We don't only want to make it easy to bring City Engine data into Unreal Engine, but we also want to make it easy to build VR experience for urban planning in Unreal Engine. So, we decided to work on VR and AR apps. And to do this, we just set up a space dedicated to all things VR in our brand new second office, which we call The Loft. I'll show you around the VR room a little bit today and give you an insight into what's being developed there at the moment. So I'm on my way over to the loft office right now and figured I'd uh, take a quick pit stop here because so this lovely red building that you can see behind me that is uh, where our main office is located. So generally here we're based in kind of like the, the urban heart of Zurich. Uh, so we're really close to, to everything which is, which is great and um, there's always a lot to do around here and it's just generally a really, really cool region to be. So here we are in the loft office in our brand new VR room. And you can see Benjamin working here. And Benjamin's basically the guy that's working on all the stuff that you're about to see. We've installed a full HTC Vive setup in this room and this is what Benjamin is testing his development efforts with. We just started working on these VR experiences for urban planning. The idea will be that with City Engine you can easily bring urban designs and site plans into the Unreal template. And then we'll provide a bunch of tools to explore your design in VR. What we're looking at here are first tests. Also we want that multiple users can be immersed in this VR world at the same time where they can review the design together. So I hope you like where this is all going, but please remember that this is still just an early tech preview and we're not entirely sure what will actually make it into the product. My top three City Engine highlights of this year were pretty tough to put in order, but if I had to decide, I guess this is the way I'd order them. The City Engine 2017.1 release. Obviously, I know how much work and effort went into this release, and it was so great to see it so well received by all of you. City Engine to Unreal Engine. It's a huge privilege to be able to collaborate with high profile companies like Epic Games and HOK and we're really looking forward to other collaborations of this kind in the future. Zootopia. Being able to watch a movie and see the tech that you're involved with every day up on the big screen is incredibly rewarding. 
and having Brandon Jarrett present at the UC Plenary this year and hearing more about all the work that goes into creating a city like Zootopia was really inspiring and that's the sort of thing that motivates us here to keep doing what we're doing. I'm so proud to see what we're achieving in both the City Engine team and the web team here in Zurich and we've hit so many milestones this year. So thanks for your support and we're really looking forward to showing you all the things that we have planned for you in 2018. Thanks for your time again today, enjoy your holidays and see you next year.